and I like putting in my mouth and then he on my face and he chokes me while doing it. Is Africa the kind of place you want to come to meet a wife? We're going to react to a video, maybe for passport bros. Do you, you know what a passport bro is? No. According to me, it's like um, something, someone coming from Western to Africa, Are they... to other countries, to look for men to marry and to sleep with. Uh, are, they, are they bad or good? I think they're not bad because everyone has their reasons why they do things. Oh. You know? Okay. Let's have a look. Hey guys, it's your boy Lego Go Legos, and I'm live from South Africa. We Shakila. Shakila, how are you doing? You have a nice name. Oh, thank you so much. I'm doing good. Where are you from, sorry? I'm from Kenya. Okay, not from South Africa. Nah. We are in Kenya. I'm Nairobi. Can you speak your long language? Yeah. Let's go. Kuna migu kubwa kubwa sana lafu na kavi ba, lakini tunakwambi una kavi zuri. That's crazy. You said that's crazy. That's crazy. What did you say? What did you say? I abused you in my language. <laughs> that's massive. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I want to ask you a question. Are you ready? Okay. How do you enjoy intimacy with a man? Um, I like doggy and I like putting in my mouth and then he comes on my face and he chokes me while doing it. So that's crazy. That's crazy. That's massive. That's massive. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So okay, what are you doing in um, South Africa currently? I'm a business lady. Okay, you're a business yeah, lady. Yeah, and I also came for vacation and a lot of my friends are here so I just came to like pass by. Okay, South African man, Nigerian man, or Kenyan man, who took you the most? I've never got a South African man before. Kenyan, I tried, but we didn't even finish. I got bored. Um, Nigeria, yes, I have. So Nigeria is always the top, man. You can't even compare Nigeria man, with any other black people. Jesus like, they Christ. know how to knock. Knock here. Is it knocking? Yes, knocking. Yeah, knocking. Yeah, they know knocking. What is your... <laughs> hey, I should not know how to talk again. That's crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay, I want to know the cost of what you are currently. Are you ready? Okay. How much is it here? The hair is like six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Yeah. Whoa, that's massive. How much is the um, pendant and the ch and chain? This is a set with the earrings. Okay. How much is it? I got it for like three hundred and fifty dollars. Three hundred and fifty dollars. That's yeah. crazy. How much is the top? The top is like twenty six dollars. Twenty six dollars. That's massive. How much? <laughs> you said that's massive. <laughs> that's massive. How much is um, the tight? Can you turn around? Damn. Can you shake what your mama gave you? No, no. Face the camera. No, yes. I wanna shake it on you. No. <laughs> Yeah, naughty though. I'm gonna shake it on you, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 shake it. no That's... on you, on you, on you. Why? I mean, you don't have a girlfriend. Your girlfriend is in Nigeria. Can be a girlfriend here. That's crazy. No. <laughs> oh, you don't want me. You don't want me. No, I have a girlfriend. That's crazy. Can you turn around and shake for the camera? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, boyfriend do you have? To be honest, or oh, you don't want to say it here? Oh, they're all watching this. I don't want them to leave me. That's crazy. They're all watching this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're all watching this. You own a car? Yes, I do. How many? One in Kenya. How much is it? It was like 26K. $26,000. Yeah. Whoa, that's massive. Mm -hmm. Are you married? Do I look married? Boy, I'm just 20. I'm in the streets like, you know, I can't get married right now. You're 20? Yeah, I'm 20. 20? Yeah, 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 I'm 20. I don't look 20. Is it my boobs? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. The language you speak the, uh, the first time we started, can you say it again? Like Swahili? Mm. What is that? You have like big titties like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she must be your mobile. Did you also abuse me? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, I didn't okay. abuse you. So, can you speak broken? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, which one? I can understand. What in be this one like this? Um, I sabi nak. Ah, ah. I have big nyash. Yes, now yeah, now. Konji gonna kill me. Oh, it, what is it? What is it? What is it? Konji, konji gonna kill me. What do you understand me. by konji? Konji is like, you know, like I, I don't know how to say it. A lot of Nigerian guys like saying that on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria, as it comes to that, you are like that, like as it should. So you prefer Nigerian guys to any other guy? Yes, 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 yes. How yes. do they knock? Like? Are they aggressive or how? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like long periods, you feel it, you know, you feel it inside you. You feel it, you know, like you get. Yes. That's crazy, all right. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing me to interview. You have a lot of tattoos though. Yeah, I do. How much is the cost of all the tattoos? I think I got my tattoos for like this gun tattoo. Six K total of it, six K because I got them in different Okay, countries. you have tattoos. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I also have one right here. It's one of my boyfriend's name on my You know any girls like this? 
en Uganda. Yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, one of her posts. This is one of her Instagram posts. Very nice, very cute. And here's a picture of her passport. On her passport, it says, your pussy gets you Ubers. My pussy gets me flights. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it other than she belongs to the streets. If you come out here thinking it's all innocent and cute and African is, you know, the motherland and all of this, they're going to take you. They know how to uh, finesse. And <laughs> what did you call it? To run the goal. To run the goal. We have a shop and a lot of women come in the shop. There was a girl who had to be like 17, 16, 17. She came in the shop. She never seen anything like our shoes. She's like, wow, these shoes are amazing. I have to buy this shoe right now. So she's like, but I don't want to pay for it. Medina saw that she had 300,000 Ugandan shillings in her purse. So she could easily afford a pair of our shoes. She said, I don't want to use my money. They want to put Yeah. So she called guys on video. She called the first guy. Said, oh, babe, look at this shoe, da 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 The first guy, no, I can't buy it for you. She, she called this. She calls the second guy. Same thing again. Hi, babe, how are you, da 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 Third guy, the guy buys it for her, sends us mobile money, buys the shoes. She gets the shoe for free. And they didn't know what she told me. Right. She told me, everyone who did give me money, I'm going to cross them. Like. Right. <laughs> so girls are running game on guys here. No problem. So what advice can we give someone that's, I mean, it's, if you're, uh, first of all, if you're coming here for fun, it's easy. You splash cash and that's it. Yeah. Right. So you don't need any advice from us. No, it, they, they also need to be careful. They can, they can set, they can set you up. They can set you up. Okay. So this is something to be careful of. But if you're coming for a wife, how are you going to meet this kind of girl? How are you going to know this kind of girl is safe girl? I think you can still tell. If I was a blonde digger, after a while, or after like two weeks, you can tell and say, I think one thing is just a girl digger. She's doing this and this, you can tell. I gained her ever more small, smaller trust over time to see how she would act with certain things. But I think, first of all, if you're meeting a girl in a nightclub, it's a bad idea. You can meet people in social situations, networking events. Um, you know, women are still very approachable here. You can have conversations with people and you can meet in an organic way. You can go on dating sites, but I don't, I still don't know. I think that's also a 50 50 gamble. But girls will in Yeah, but for. <laughs> You, I met, but you didn't see the hundred other girls that was sending me messages, asking for money, asking, yeah, trying to scam. Money. Yeah, like I guess the purpose of this video is just to show you Western culture is here and it's here to stay. Girls are learning from Nicki Minaj. You know, they're learning from the finesse game and other girls on social media. And they idolize the West. They idolize the style, the culture of places like America, and they follow suit. So for you passport bros out there looking for wives and all of those things, the window is getting smaller. More and more girls are adopting this this kind of attitude. What would you say, like, let's just preempt the comments, right? So there's going to be comments, people saying that we're now talking bad about it. So what do you think about that? Um, they also know. <laughs> yeah, what the people commenting? People, people are commenting. They know. I'm sure everyone here has seen someone doing the stuff of like, like girls to looking at guys for money. They know that. I'm sure they're looking to, like at us, knowing that yeah, they're saying the truth, though they don't want to accept. And they are very. Do you know that they are good girls? Yeah, they're they're a good girls. They're girls that will respect you, will treat you well, and are very well worth partnering with. You find a girl saying, uh, but in the dinner that you meet, I don't care if I want has money or not. As well as the guy loves me. He has some some little money, yeah, which yeah. is enough for us. Yeah. You know, we can do it. Would you say those girls are more likely to be from the village? You know, some people, 
call connect with the angels. Okay, you are, there is a girl. She told me, ah, oh, madam, it still gives you money for buying food or other stuff. Do you give him balance? Balances change. Yeah. So it's a hundred thousand and it costs eighty. The twenty is mine. You. I take it back. Why do I have to stay with the one? Mm-hmm. She's like, ah, oh, you're so stupid. You're from the village. That's why you like that. Mm-hmm. You know? I think it's like some people are seeing it like that. It's short sightedness because you're thinking about the long term future of the relationship and that twenty mm-hmm. remaining is for us. Mm-hmm. Whereas the those girls have an individualistic mentality. So they think, right, my goal is to not build with a guy. My goal it's is to extract thing. as much as I can for the guy for me. Okay, what if a guy gets out of money? Yeah, they, they're only there for the money. Then they're, So if the money goes, they're gone. Do, do you think those girls respect the guys? They don't. They think the guys are crazy. Like, this guy's giving me money for nothing. Like, oh, this guy's an idiot. <laughs>